Hey guys, welcome now and welcome back to a new video. Now today it's the big one. It simply doesn't get bigger than this. It is a massive final between Argentina and Brazil, isn't it? The Copa America theory. Dad, what are you on about? I reckon Brazil are gonna win. No, no, it. no, no. What are you on about? I, I'm talking about a different game. What is? Is there another final? England versus Italy. Euros final, fuck dad. Bring it on. Has this guy been living under a rock? I mean, come on. I mean, well, actually, whilst we're on the topic of Argentina and Brazil, what's your score prediction? Do you know what? I'm gonna go with a Brazil win. 2-1. Neymar masterclass? Yeah, go for it. You've always preferred Ronaldo over Messi. I know that's why you said it. But I'm going to back Argentina because Messi is the GOAT. Italy versus England, the Euro 2020 final. It's been 55 years since England last made a final. How has it felt going your whole life, Dad, without seeing this? Well, Theo, this is new territory, not just for me, but for you as well. It's never happened in my lifetime. We've never been into a major final. I don't know what to think. Yeah, well, I've been lucky because I've seen the Russia World Cup, which I went to pretty much all the games. And now, of course, the Euros, which I've been to nearly all the games apart from the one I couldn't travel to. I mean, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm a young guy. I've seen success, <laughs> but I feel for you. You've I seen know. golden eras where nothing's happened. I know, but you know what? I'm loving every minute of this tournament. And let's talk about Italy first. Sure, here. sure. Because I've been very impressed with them from start to finish. Tell us about their run to the final, mate. Well, of course. I mean, it started in the group stages. Three wins out of three. Seven goals scored, zero conceded. Everybody looked at them. That's when they went from a dark horse kind of team to one yeah. of the big boys. This is when people started saying, you know, they could win it. Then they got to the knockouts. We were at the Austria game in the round of 16. They nearly bottled that. Do you remember when Arnautovic scored? Yes. It was 1-0. It was looking like they were going to, you know, just hold that game out. But VAR saved them. Extra time. Chiesa scored the winner. They moved on to Belgium. They had to travel. It was away from Wembley. They scored two great goals from Barella and Insigne. They won 2-1, even though Lukaku scored. Yeah, solid win. Belgium were one of the favourites, so fair play to them. Then in the semi-finals, they played Spain at Wembley again. And uh, we were at that game, wasn't it? It was pretty good. It was amazing. Now, I thought Spain were the better team. They had 65% of the possession. They had twice the goal attempts there, but they couldn't quite finish their dinner, could they? They couldn't. And it was a lack of clinical finishing from Spain that meant it went to penalties and Italy they produce the goodness, and now they're in a final at the Euros. Well, I've got to say that semi-final theory, I was really impressed by Bonucci and Chiellini, the centre-backs. Decent. Well, I think the threats for Italy coming into this England game is Federico Chiesa, good pace, quality dribbling, obviously Juve and Fiorentina, and what he has is something special to perform in a big game. Yeah. I've seen him score winners at Wembley. He's scored in both Wembley fixtures in the, in the knockouts. He's a danger. We know that. Lorenzo Insigne, as much as he hasn't performed at Wembley, he performed against Belgium in the knockouts. He scored an absolute wonder goal to win that game 2-1, and he could be a threat on the other wing for Italy. And finally, Barella. Brilliant in that Belgian game. Goal and an assist. And if he can play like he can, he's got four contributions in his six Italy games. He's a serious threat. Threat. That's what I'm worried about in the Italy team. I think to sum it up, they've got quality throughout the team. I mean, Donnarumma got the headlines for the, uh, the penalty save, didn't he, Theo? He did, yeah. You've got Jorginho, Verratti in the middle. You've got a rock-solid defence, and you've got three lads up front who can score. Yeah. I've been really impressed by Italy. One of the two best teams of the tournament, along with England. And Spinozola injured is a big miss for them. We know that. With Emerson in, he isn't the same kind of player. Yeah. But I've got to say, this is a very good Italian team, yeah. but not a great great team and that gives me some hope for the final fear yeah some random facts 33 game unbeaten streak Amazing. will it be ended on Sunday against England we'll find out no team has gone to extra time on more occasions than Italy in the Euros history they've gone there nine times now which is insane and they've got a really good record so it is worrying Italy have never scored more than 12 goals at a major tournament they're right. currently on 12 so any goals they score against England they've topped it they're record breakers some very big statements there a very decent Italy team yeah now Thogdad I don't remember most of these games but I've got them written down the head-to-head -head versus England when Italy have faced England previously over the years. What's it been like? It has been hard at times. 1978, I was in hospital for an operation for about a month. England played Italy. And I remember I went into the operating theatre during an England-Italy game. We wow. lost 2-0. We lost 2-0. So I think over time, we've lost more than we've won. Is that correct? That is correct. Both teams have scored from the last six encounters, five of them, both teams have scored, which is a mad stat. It's usually goals galore. Last time in the Euros, it went all the way to penalties and yeah. Italy won it. That was a tough one to take. And three of the last four encounters in the World Cup, Italy have won. So historically, 
Italy versus England, Italy are favourites. Yes. I'll admit that. But that's enough about Italy. Let's talk about England, Theo. Talk us through the tournament for our boys. 66, 2021. Let's do it. Uh, I've got to start with the group stage games. Yeah. I know we had that 0-0 to Scotland, but apart from that, we beat Croatia and Czech Republic. Two teams that are well respected. Czech Republic won a few games, went on a cheeky run. So good, solid form in the groups. Then we went into the round of 16 and beating Germany 2-0 with two late goals was incredible, especially in front of so many fans at Wembley. Then we went on to getting a very solid win against Ukraine, 4-0. Not many England fans in England could go, but the way we played was special. And then beating Denmark at Wembley yeah. in extra time, as we know, going a goal down. How, how was that for you, Dad? Well, overall, I thought we were the better team, Theo. More goal attempts, more possession. But I've got to say, we were nervy. And sometimes it's a sign of a good team to play not very well, but still win. Mm. Jordan Pickford, Declan Rice at times, uh, not very good. But overall, I thought Harry Kane was just a leader and a legend. Dad, Raheem I, was yeah. superb. In the last few minutes of that game, we were playing some liquid football. We were. We were trying to hold on to a result. Denmark basically threw the towel in. Yeah. We were playing it around. Raheem Sterling was swooshing past players like they weren't even there. I mean, honestly, we look like a club side yeah. at the end of that Denmark game. People saying we got robbed. <laughs> They're mugs. I'm sorry. If you look at the XG, 2.73 for England. Okay, yeah. round it up to three. Denmark, 0 0.25. I'm not having it. No. I'm not having it that people genuinely think Denmark have been robbed. If we didn't score from that penalty, we would have scored from somewhere else. We smashed that game. Southgate had a great job. I'm not even kidding. He's, he's done yeah, a great, he's yeah. done brilliant. Everyone that hates on Southgate too, they're all mugs. Every time he's changed his tactics, it's worked. Yeah. He changed to a back three against Germany, it worked. He went back to a back four, dominated Ukraine, beat Denmark, win a Euros final. Let's give the man some respect. But what I like is the whole of Europe is against us, and I think that helps. And I think what also helped is when Schmeichel gave that interview and disrespected England yeah. and football coming home. Mm. That was like the team talk for Southgate. Yeah. I love the fact that we're the mill wall of international football. Nobody <laughs> likes us. We don't care. It's true. We don't. And yeah. apparently Norway, actually Norway meant to like us, but everybody else wants Italy to win this yeah, final, which yeah. is a little bit mad, including Scott unfortunately but you know what we live and we learn England it's not gonna stop us taking it home that's the fact I think Harry Kane yeah scored four goals the last three games he's chasing that golden boot wouldn't surprise me if he scores again in the final against Italy I do think we'll score I think both teams will score but other threats I mean Harry Maguire has been incredible in the four games he's played in scored in one of them he's got a big final to come and it goes without saying to Raheem Sterling he's my third and final threat for Italy because he's got four contributions, not including that own goal, yes, which yes. was led by him because he made the run, it forced into the mistake. So nearly five contributions in six games. He's been so involved and brilliant. The way he's turned it around, people, you didn't want him in the squad, Doc, Dad. He didn't want <laughs> him in the squad. Stop reminding me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, I've been so impressed by Harry Maguire. Like you've already mentioned, I thought in that semi-final, he was absolutely majestic. He was. I thought the whole of the defense was good. I thought, like I said, Declan Rice shaky in the first half, but came good. But overall, we played okay, but we still won. Yeah. And I think that was important. Absolutely. England are now gone 12 games unbeaten. Not quite like the 33 that Italy yeah, are yeah. on, but we, we're on some real on-fire form. I feel like Italy started on fire and kind of slowed down a bit. England are kind of peaking now. Like, I, do you think that Denmark game, do you think that was one of our worst performances? Because to me, we I thought we were pretty good. I thought the Scotland performance was worse. We can all agree on that. But yeah. after that, it's the Denmark performance. Some of our finishing wasn't good enough. Raheem should have put the tie beyond doubt. Yeah. But I don't want to criticise England. By the way, Kasper Schmeichel in goals, fantastic. Nine yeah. saves, unlucky mate. Brilliant. And respect to Denmark for yeah. what you brought to the tournament. Massive round yeah. of applause to your nation. Great story for them and big up themselves. But let's get on to our predictions. No more <laughs> waffling. We've spoken about both teams. We've put the facts in everybody's face. And I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments as well. Yeah. I think the game will start cagey. Both teams will feel the pressure a little bit. It is a Euro 2020 final after all. And both teams will be a little bit shocked that they're there. You know, it's not yeah, like a France yeah. that just used to win. I know Italy historically are good. So nil-nil, I reckon it'll go all the way till half time. Second half, it will open up a little bit more. Both teams attack a little. I think both teams will score and it'll be a one-all draw at yeah. full time. The game will go to extra time. Obviously, we'll make a few subs. 60th minute, we'll obviously bring on Jack Grealish as always. <laughs> and I think he'll score the winner in extra time. England 2, Italy 1. Extra time winner, and we hold it out like we did against Denmark, and that's how we win Euro 2020. Football comes home again, like it did in 1966. Wow, that is a very big statement. Now we're in uncharted territory here yep. over the last 55 years. I think England will come out of the starting block strong. Harry Kane will get his fifth goal of the tournament, but then Italy will equalise. 
in the first half. It's going to be one all at half time. It's going to be one all after 90 minutes. But then sadly, in extra time, there's going to be a late goal from an Italian. Football's coming, Rome. I think we'll lose the final. No. This is what I think. It's not what I want. You think, to be honest, Dad, I think Italy will win Euro 2020. I'm not even worried because you've been so wrong in this tournament. You, who else did you say we'd lose to? Oh, I said England would beat Denmark 2 1. I think I was right there. Yeah, you were right about that one. What about the game before? I'm sure you predicted I've was got it a few Germany? things wrong. Yeah, you said we'd lose to Germany. You predicted that. Yeah. To some extent, I'm trying to dampen expectations because I've spent 50 odd years of yeah. hurt. Yeah. Trust me. Dog Dad, you're really disappointing me. I, it's mainly because I just don't want to see Italy win. This is our yeah. one opportunity at Wembley Stadium. Everybody's hating on us. We should bring it home whilst we can. Listen, we've given our predictions, but yeah. we've got a special guest, Thog Dad. No way. Who is it? It's Thog Mum. It's her birthday as well. It is. Let's get a little. I'm going to go fetch her. We'll get her in now. Right, Thog Mum, what is your score prediction? 3 2 to Italy. 3 2. Uh... We're going. We're going. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Right, Thogsis, what is your big score prediction? One all. One all? Yeah. What's going to happen then? I think Italy will win on penalties. We're going, we're going, we're going. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe those predictions from Thogsis and Thogmum. How are both my parents predicting Italy to beat England? I mean, where is the confidence, guys? We believe it's on the shirt. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comments below. And I've got a lot of people from England and outside and in different places in Europe. I'd love to hear your perspective on the game. It's going to be a big match. Copper America final as well. Smash the like button. What's the like target today, Thog Dad? The like target is a massive 16,000. Come on. For the Euros final, after all the content we've done around it, we're getting 30,000 likes. We're doing more than double that. I'm sorry, Dad. We're getting 30K likes. I expect it. <laughs> Smash the subscribe button. The vlog for the final will be insane. I Listen, the fact that we're... We're just... I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be able to go and make content around it. Thank you for watching this video. It's going to be an emotional final. See you in a bit. See ya.